Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scenes at Pro Dry Racing Australia. And today, in this part of the building, we actually have our sub-assembly and damper room combined. So, lucky enough, I found a person I have an on-track relationship, my engineer, uh, Adam DeBore, and he's actually the head of the, the damper room department. So, uh, it's good to actually catch him. He's generally pretty busy, quadruple duty around here. He's not only doing that, he's also doing customer support. So, um, Adam, welcome. Thank you for giving us a minute. And um, first of all, give us a bit of a, a demo, oh, not so much a demonstration, but a bit of a, a guided tour with speech of what happens after um, a race weekend when the dampers come off the car. Yeah, so basically, obviously, we've got multiple sets of dampers per car. Um, obviously, different specs for different circuits that, uh, that we're racing at. So generally what happens is post-event, you guys are pretty hard on the equipment. So uh, we have to pull them out. We have to check to make sure, A, they haven't drifted, uh, B, that they're all still uh, reliable and straight, and, uh, and then stay on top of the servicing of the dampers as well as doing other development work for, uh, for other tracks and trying to find a little bit more speed. So generally the story here at Pro Drive Racing Australia is the drivers are pretty rough on the equipment. Every department's actually said that. Um, you know, so saying that, how many hours would it take to, to basically service a damper from, from nothing? Um, so when we come to doing, uh, doing a full strip down and, and rebuild, it's basically a whole day per damper. Um, so there's a fair bit to them, obviously with testing on the dyno, as well as you know, measuring, make sure everything's within tolerance. You know, do we continue using this part? Do we bin it? Do we put another part in? And so forth like that. So um, it's generally about a full day for a damper overhaul. That is absolutely crazy. Sometimes we've only got two weeks between to right to, between races. Uh, so I do notice actually the bags under your eyes do appear when uh, there's only two weeks. So uh, thank you very much for the insight on that. And I know you're very busy. So thanks for giving us the time out. Now we're going to go over the other side of the room. We're going to go chat to Jonesy and uh, and basically see what he does in sub assembly. Here we are on the other side of the room. The room is actually so big that I've had enough time to get a haircut and have a shave. And we're back here with Jonesy. So um, Jonesy, uh, thanks for taking out the time to have a chat to us. So uh, today we're in the sub-assembly and this is your department, the head of this department. Um, so who better to talk to than you about it? But um, give us a bit of an idea uh, what you guys do in, in sub-assembly. Um, we basically service everything from the drive line back. So uprights, rear hubs, um, tail shaft, gearboxes, Diffs, so yeah, clutches, yes, yeah, so everything from the flywheel back, basically. Yeah, nice. So when I can't get off the line, it's generally the clutch is the issue, not so much the driver. It's never the driver's fault in the driver's handbook. So um, yeah, so how many how many hours does it probably take to I guess to, to do a clutch, for instance? Um, clutches are quite easy. They're they're sort of like an hour turnaround. They're not yeah. too bad. Um, basically, how long have you been involved with um, the racing and, and sub assembly? Um, been here since FPR started back in Dandenong, so. I think that's 2003, so from then, and um, been in 15 years in motorsport, yeah. So what keeps bringing you back, yeah, year after year? Um, it's just a, a passion, I guess, to make the cars go faster, and you, and you get to work with the, with um, really good guys and the best equipment, so that's that's why we do it. Yeah. Nah, awesome. Well, hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight here in sub-assembly. Thanks, Jonesy, for taking the time out, and we can't wait to, to do another episode, so thanks very much. Yeah.